Hello and welcome to the Motorbike TV vlog on Sunday the 26th of January. Something which I heard recently over this last week in fact was Are you satisfied in your work? Well it's an interesting question which I find interesting even for me. And you know I've been doing a little bit about my life story recently. Well, I've got a bit of a, a story which has brought me to the point that I'm at now. In that Let's, let's go back to 92, when I started my very first business. That was a situation where I started off on my own. I was producing visitor touring maps. And so it was a map on the front and, you know, the advert on the back. And I went up to Ayrshire, the very first area. And I didn't sell a thing for three days. Yet before that I'd been selling loads, and so that's why I set off on my own. But it was something which I went away uh, and started it. And having not sold anything for three days. But you know when some things stick in your mind? On the Wednesday night there was a girl called Tony Dawson. And she used to run the Pavilion Ball at Salkett, which is in Ayrshire. And she bought the very first advert. Um, it was 500 quid, 550 quid, she paid me the cheque, and I guess the rest is history. But these are the things which, having been working for somebody before, the pressures of working for somebody before, and having started on my own, the pressures were immense. All of a sudden, there was no wage to rely on. You had to run your own car, your own fuel, your own accommodation. Where did you go? What did you do? <clears throat> and it was something which, those times when you start off on your own, you'll never forget. That was in the October of 92. At the beginning of 93, I took two people on. One guy who was 15 years older than me, um, and the other guy was about 20 years older than I was, and I was in my late 30s. <coughs> and off they went, and off they went to sell the adverts on the back of the maps. Well, I then wanted more people and more people, because I thought the more you get, the better it would become. But that just wasn't the case at all. It was... A bloody nightmare. I then uh, increased the sales force to, I think I was running between six and eight people at the time. And I thought I was going to be a millionaire overnight. Huh, how wrong I was. I took an investor on in 90... Beginning of 95. And produced a national magazine. And... When you look back, you think, I didn't know what to do. I didn't have a printer. I didn't have a distribution company. I didn't know how to sell advertising in a magazine. <clears throat> All of a sudden, there we were. And there was one guy, I won't mention his name, but he turned around and said, well, how do we do this? And my answer was, well, I don't know. Let's just go and try. But we produced the magazine at the beginning of, of 95. So actually, I'm wrong. <clears throat> I should go back to 94. Produced the first magazine at the beginning of 95. We kept it going till 96. Doubled the size of it. I've still got copies, in fact. Um, I should have had one, shouldn't I? Never mind. And that's where I'm going to stop. Because I want to try this out. And I want to see how it looks. But the next one I do, I'll show you examples of what I used to produce. Ta-da!